Good morning, folks. We're still missing Helio Viewer in the Earth scale diagram, but luckily the sun's been extremely quiet. The solar tornado we watched for days is now breaking onto an Earth facing position. It's one of our top watches. The lone eruption of the day occurred on the backside of our star, seen here firing straight north away from all the planets. No solar flares to be seen, and the only sunspot on the disk has lost complexity in the center, even as the outside umbral cores gain a bit of size. Making up for the lack of X-ray flaring is a double gamma-ray burst on the record. Took them this morning from Satis and Andromeda, topic of a recent Deeper Look episode. We're also seeing some electron flux instability this morning, likely due to a density spike in the solar wind. The better story here, however, is the sub-300 km per second solar wind speed we keep seeing. Yet another example of anemic solar output, an Earth shield can beat this back all day calm conditions. Well, for the first time in a while, we've got both southern and northern coronal holes facing Earth at the same time. The coronal magnetic fields in blue allowed both to open in an Earth-facing position, and you'll also recall that it was the strongest area of both openings facing us at the same time. Seismicity upticks are modest but notable. This quake in the Philippines rang into 6 magnitude range on 4 meters, and the USGS has taken the lowest of all the readings. The 4.6 in the Greenland Sea yesterday was very unusual, so how about an earthquake swarm in that area, topping out well into 5 magnitude range? Also had a larger quake hit Guatemala, this one was downgraded as well. Got new images of Ceres from dawn on approach. The best images ever taken of our dwarf planet neighbor are only weeks away. For those following the backlash over false claims of it being the warmest year on record, May I present the cherry for your dessert? It's linked below. Star quakes, quasars, super radio bursts from unknown origin. That's a good link as well. And we've also got the southern polar vortex on Venus via the express satellite. This makes at least five planets in our system with polar vortices. So in the west, we've got a lot of systems on the map. Primary weather drivers are a couple low pressure nodes in the central states gathering and converging the air masses for the worst of it tonight. Very cold up north as well. In Europe, the convergence of previous days remains to the east, but the western lows and their convergences are cresting the land as well. The cloud lines follow those longitudinal convergences. I would love to get some weather shares in the comments from Scotland, Ireland, and from the south near Portugal and Spain. Down under, the story is the convergence here major pileup of different air and moisture flows continuously moving eastward this evening. The worst storms won't come until the convergence hits the coastline. You've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.10 a.m. in the east, 3.10 a.m. California. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.